Hi guys, my name is Skylar. I am a busy working mom of a almost two year old little boy named Leroy. And for the past couple of weeks, we have been stuck inside the house and I have been trying to come up with some activities that he can do that are new and kind of exciting that he doesn't already have. And so I came up with a couple ideas. And this video is actually gonna be the first video in the series of just simple DIY activities that you can do with your children with stuff that you find around the house. For these videos that I have planned, I really thought about the idea that parents are teachers. And whether we think about this concept or not, parents are teachers. We are teaching our children when we're talking to them. We are teaching them in everything that we do. We model behaviors for them and that's teaching them. So now at this time in the world, I feel like it's really important for us to really focus and give our children developmentally appropriate activities that can really stimulate them. So that's why I have decided to create a little series on activities that we can give to our children from using materials around the home. And for the past couple weeks, I've been saving up materials and just thinking of ideas that we can use them in order to provide new experiences and activities for them. So today's video, I am going to be showing you four activities that I made for my two-year-old little boy. And these activities are all done using one recycled cardboard box. So I have all of them right here. All of these activities were really simple. And I think total it took me about an hour to do all four of these. I had to take a break in between. I was only able to make them when my son was asleep because I didn't want him to get hurt. I had a knife out and some scissors. So while I was making these, I was really trying to think about what I wanted to focus on with my son in these next coming weeks. So the very first activity that I did looks like this, and I'm gonna call it a cardboard board drop. Um, I know they have, like Montessori has like a ball drop and coin drop and stuff like that, but this is just something that was really quick and simple to make. I used cardboard paint and then to go along with it, I, ha I made these little cards. And so for focusing on colors with my son, I picked four colors of the paint that I had available. I did not go out and buy any of this. So I have red, purple, orange, and green. And then I made two little um, sticks each. And I also, if you can see, let me pick color. I also wrote the name of the color on there. This way he can start recognizing the letters and associating it with the color. So I have these baskets from Target. And so I thought he could put it on here and then use that to kind of drop them in. This activity has a lot of developmental benefits. And so this activity um, uses fine motor skills as well as color matching. Also hand-eye coordination, problem solving, the language development, because when he is playing with this, I do plan on talking with him and, and telling him like, this is the orange one that says orange. I will talk to him about the letters on here and then he will know that this is the orange color and that it matches. So for this activity, you could do larger slots or smaller slots, and you can also make smaller pieces. If you have popsicle sticks, you could also do the same thing as that, and then it works a little bit, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I thought this was appropriate for my son at his level right now. And besides the shape sorter, he doesn't really have anything like this. So I think that this will be perfect and that he will love it. The next activity is also a really simple one. It's just a little puzzle with shapes. And like I said, I was focusing on colors with him. So I picked orange, blue, and green. Um, he knows blue already, so that one should be easier for him. But then I also made the corresponding shapes that he could kind of match them to. So it's working on color matching and shape matching and it just, he could just kind of put it on there. If you wanted to, you could put a pom-pom, glue a pom-pom on here if you have that and that'll make it easier to pick up and put back down. The third activity doesn't actually use a cardboard box. Well, I guess it is a cardboard box, but it's a cereal box. And so this one, probably was the quickest for me to make. 
I just cut off the side of the cereal box and then I just hole punch. I use a hole punch and I hole punch these holes. And you could do different designs on them if you want. And this is a really long shoelace. I just grabbed a shoelace off of one of our shoes that we haven't worn in a while. And then he can just kind of lace it through. I have given him this one already and it's kind of a little bit hard for him. I think it's just small. So that'll really help him working on his fine motor skills and his pentagraphs and stuff, which he usually doesn't have problems with that, but it's just, it's different than anything he's ever done. I have been looking into getting him some threading beads and I haven't been able to. So I thought that this would be a good alternative to practice and kind of get the hang of it. And then maybe when we are able to, then we will get those threading beads and he will love them. The fourth activity I have is another sort of puzzle. So I cut squares out of the cardboard box and then I cut one, I made one cut to kind of create a puzzle. So these are two separate pieces and then he could put them together. And then this one as well, there are two separate pieces, he could put them together. I painted these two and it also goes along with kind of our color theme for the week but you don't have to paint them. I do have two pieces right here that are not painted and it's just, I mean, they work the same. And then I also made this one. It just kind of has a zigzag pattern. And so with these activities, he has his baskets on his shelf back there. And so I figure I can just put one of these activities in here a week and then he could work on it and then when I can see that he's getting bored with it, then I can switch it out for the next one. So I plan on these activities lasting for a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, I'll be making more and adding more for my next videos. So all four of these activities will really help to work on color matching, um, shape matching, language development, which is super important as parents being teachers language is one of the biggest things that we can help our children with they are being exposed when we talk to them about these activities that they're doing the different colors the different shapes and all of that even when we are modeling how to put the shape on the other shape and talking them through it that is also helping with language development i hope you really enjoyed these activities and that you give them a try for your child and see how they like it and alter it to where it fits your child's needs and where they're at developmentally. If you do give one of these activities a shot, then comment down below. This way I know that you are benefiting from these videos. I am going to be putting up one of these types of videos once a week on Monday mornings. So be on the lookout and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.